Hi, Emma. Hello. Well, we're going back to our childhood now, aren't we? Aren't we just? Look at this, Thomas the Tank Engine. One of my favourites as a child. And mine as well. I love them because they're contemporary of the period. These lovely colours sum up that 1970s, don't they? Absolutely. Well, where have they all come from? How did you get them? Well, apparently, when I was little, in the early 70s, and in a, in a pushchair, my mother took me to a model train exhibition. And by all accounts, the Reverend Audrey was there. Now, if I remember rightly, my mum said that he was in a wheelchair. Right. And because I was in a pushchair, we were sort of like on similar on several, similar levels. And by all accounts, he made a bit of a fuss of me. So as we were leaving, mother turned around and said, any chance of a signed copy of one of your books? Um, left her address, and lo and behold, a few weeks later, this arrived through the post for her. Wow. And they're all signed? Every course. single one is signed. Everything. You must have made an impression. I must have. Well, I wish I could say it was probably because I was good. It was probably because <laughs> I was being a bit rebellious, no doubt, in my pushchair well, at the I, time. I want you to be good today because I don't want to chastise you. No, no, I'm on my best behaviour. <laughs> And you've obviously read them. Oh, yes. Because there's some wear to some of them, but they've all got their dust jackets, yes. which is an important thing. So you weren't that a destructive a child. Well, I wasn't allowed them in my bedroom. They took pride of place next to the Encyclopedia Britannica in the bookcase that was in the <laughs> living room. So I was allowed to take them out and read them, not necessarily under supervision, but they certainly weren't in with my normal books that... You know, to my uh, yes. shame, I probably scribbled all over when I was younger, but well, no, I is... didn't scribble on these. But of course, the five most interesting books, I suppose, are the five we've got here, the first edition. Oh, right. Which yeah. are signed. Each one of them has been signed in here, and these are first editions, and I love them. And I think there'll be a lot of collectors out there because, you know, we're going through a sort of retro feeling at yeah. the moment, aren't we? Some people hated the 70s, but these are still popular today, and there's still people reading Thomas the Tank Engine. Because well, they're nice, simple, honest stories, aren't they? But you've had them a long time. They're obviously quite personal and sentimental to you because of the story. Yeah. Why have you decided to auction them now? Well, I don't have any children, and in reality, it's unlikely that I ever will. And they're just literally sitting in an old shoebox under my bed. Oh. And it would be nice if, you know, somebody who really enjoyed them, um, you know, would buy them. Because, as I say, they, they deserve to be read. The stories are there to be read. So they, they don't see the light of day. Well, I suspect if they went into the sale, there would be an in interest, of course, from the book trade. Right. From the book dealers. But then there might also be interest from a private collector okay. who likes the stories. And, of course, if the auction house could put in that little bit of history of where they've come from, that all adds to the whole right. ambience of the whole lot, if you like. I'd like to put them in, and I'm not a book expert. Right. So I could be reading too much into these, <laughs> if you excuse the pun. But I'd like to put something like four to £600. Pounds oh, lovely. With a reserve at fixed for 350 That sounds fine to me. And maybe, you know, we might chuff into the station and get a bit more for them. What do you think? I, hopefully so, you know. <laughs> hopefully they'll steam away. Absolutely. <laughs> Emma's Thomas the Tank Engine books could be a big hit with the collectors as they're personally signed by Reverend Audrey. Thomas the Tank Engine. I was a big fan of Thomas the Tank Engine. Emma went to a train convention taken there by her parents when she was a little baby, the girl that owns these books, well, the lady that owns these books now, and um, met the author. He was so taken with her, he gave 25 signed Thomas the Tank Engine books. That's awesome. Um... Yeah, that's a big impression to make on somebody, isn't it? We've got a valuation of four to six hundred pounds. Yes, you have. Um... I used to read them underneath the blankets with a flash lamp because I wasn't allowed to read after half past seven as a little boy. And that's a long time before these came out. These are late 60s and she's got an awful lot, uh, an awful lot of signatures by yeah. the Reverend Audrey. Uh, in fact, I received a, a phone call from the lady after they'd arrived here to discuss the matter further. Why? Was she not happy? She wasn't happy. She felt that... Um, it should be more. Uh, that's the most polite way of looking at it. She didn't want to let them go at a lower figure than about £500. So she thought they were undervalued? She thought they were undervalued. Um, she was happy to let them carry on at that sort of figure. I said, right, well, there's 25 of the darn things here. Surely um, we might get there. And what do you think about this? If she came to you as a valuation to bring them in to sale? I would have what probably would stuck 
put my toes in and said, no, that's too much, actually. You'd have gone with 46. But I'm more than happy to prove I'm a better auctioneer than a valuer. OK. Well, we're going to find out in just a moment, so whatever you do, don't go away. Watch this space. Thomas the Tank Engine. Lots of childhood memories coming back for me. But lots of childhood memories probably being sold on for Emma. And I think they will be. 25 signed books. Absolutely. Five to six hundred pounds. Now, you must have made a big impression on the author. Clearly I did. Um, hopefully for the right reasons. My mother can't remember what reason I made a big impression. But And have you read them all? Every single one. And even as an adult, I would still flick through them because it's just escapism. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just thought they were interesting we haven't had anything well. like that before. And the story was lovely. Yeah. And I just thought, you know, there must be somebody out there that would like there was a, sure as an investment would. for their grandchildren exactly. or something like that. Do you know? And I can't see anything like this happening today. Can you imagine meeting J.K. Rowling and having 25 oh, books or six Lord. books? I mean, yeah. wouldn't happen, would it? Well, let's hope we get top money for it. Good luck. Thank Andy. you. The Reverend Audrey, Thomas the Tank Engine Railway Series, numbers 1 to 25. Um, I have three bids on my sheets altogether. I have to start the bidding at £500. Do we have 520 in the room? Uh, 520, 540, 560, 580, 600. 600, is it anywhere? At 600, may I say? 600, 620, 640, 660, 680, 720. 720 they love anywhere? it. 720, Fantastic. assigned. At 720, is it anywhere? You finish at £700, it's going. You're all done and finished. Yes, the hammer's gone down. £700. Pounds. The collectors were out there and they loved it. They did. I'm going on holiday. Wow. I love this. I think wow. the Fab Control will be happy, won't you? <laughs> yes. Okay. £700, what's the money going towards? Well, um, I've got a cousin in Chicago and a cousin in Montreal, so I feel a grand trip abroad coming on oh, in the summer. That would be fantastic. Wow. It'll cover the airfares. Fantastic. I can't believe that. I'd be surprised. It was really Thank nice. Thank you for bringing them in. No worries at all. <laughs> Well, that's the end of the auction for our owners, and it certainly was full steam ahead for Thomas the Tank Engine. 25 signed books selling for £700. Now, that's not bad, is it? That's all we have time for from Hartley's Sale in Ilkley. We really have come to the end of our line. <laughs> See you next time.